Okay, hi everybody. Hi Constance, thank you for saying hi. This is Linda in Linda's Art Club and this is going to be a cute little quick drawing class on how to draw bunnies. And um, I bet when you saw this post-it you were like, oh, is that the class? <laughs> No, but that's a cute bunny. So um, I'm just going to wait for a little bit here till people get on. I know sometimes that is annoying when you watch a Facebook Live and you're like, well, just get to the point. Um, but I think there was a small group of people coming, so I'll just wait till everybody jumps on. But um, go ahead and say hi when you come on so I know that you're here. And I'm excited that you're here. And I'm going to teach you in really easy steps how to paint a really really cute bunny face and so if you're going to draw along which with me which I would love for you to do just grab your art journal or some printer paper whatever paper you can even get some line paper because this is just all about practicing and learning um, learning the really simple geometrical shapes that I'm going to show you and it's just a matter of practicing and kind of getting your chops together so that it just becomes kind of second nature for you. Hey Martha, hi! Um, so that it just becomes second nature for you to draw a bunny and there is a reason why I want you to learn to draw this particular bunny tonight and I'm going to reveal that later um, in the class. So this class again is going to be really super short and so get your paper out, get a pencil out. If you have a sharpie or a black Posca pen um, that would that will be great too. We're going to use these two tools and then any kind of eraser you might have. I have a kneaded eraser. These are my favorite. You can always just reshape them and clean them <clears throat> or you know whatever eraser you have but I'm actually gonna start on my iPad to show you this very very famous bunny this this um, photograph is by a photographer named Greg Bendig I think that's how I'm saying his name correctly he put this bunny on um, a couple sites to use for free. One of them is Unsplash. Unsplash is a site that you can go and get free photographs for artists and you actually have permission to paint the photographs and sell them and do whatever you want. So I wanted to show you this very, very famous bunny because I'm sure you have seen a million bazillion paintings of this bunny and you're going to think oh well that bunny belongs to that artist or you know so I wanted to show you my photo source <clears throat> because when I reveal something later in the class I want you to know where that came from is that um, enough mystery for you <laughs> okay so first I'm going to show you in really easy steps what to look for because if you are not um, a seasoned drawer if you don't draw a lot I would think you would look at this image and think um that looks pretty complicated but I want to train your eye to show you what to look for so I'm going to first of all I'm gonna bring this photo down a little quieter and I'm going to make a new layer <clears throat> and I'm going to show you the geometric shapes that you should be looking for in this particular famous bunny. So the first thing I always see in direct bunny faces and you know any kind of bunny direct on is pretty much going to look exactly like this bunny. Like if you google bunny photos <clears throat> you can get all kinds of different bunnies and they're pretty much going to look like this. So this is what I always see first in a bunny and I want you to look for first. So there is a rectangle right here. Okay, so you can just watch me first and then we're going to practice a little bit on how to make these bunnies. There is a rectangle. The second move 
right about in the middle is making an oval. Okay. The third move is making a second oval that starts a little above that one, goes on the outside of this one, and back around. Real loose, okay? See that? Then at the top, there's a little roof, like a house. Okay, so I'm going to mute this first photo and see how, what kind of shape we have so far. It's really, really that simple. So I'm going to come back around here. And for the ears, the ears are usually really, really close. When they perk their ears up, their skin on the top of their head like comes together and it looks like they're almost touching. Um, but it depends on the kind of personality you want your bunny to have, and you can play around with that. But for simplicity's sake right now, we would just take a line out the top of the roof of the house and a line this way. Okay, and then for the eyes, I would do a circle, believe it or not, a circle and a circle. Looking pretty funny, right? And then for his shoulders, right about here, we'd just come down, pull the shoulders, and then if you want part of his body, where this guy has part of his body out, it's like that. So let me mute the photo and show you what you have so far. You have a little robot, right? So it's so that is basically what you're looking for so far. So then with the ears, you would go from this tip to here and come back around, tip to the corner and come back around. And this is very, very simple. And then we have the nose, which is a V, and a little line, and then an upside down V. And that is your basic pattern for the, for, for the bunny, okay? Now I'm going to just mute that photograph, and I'm also going to mute this purple. And now I'm going to just come in with my black. I'm going to make a new layer here. And I'm going to show you how to refine your bunny out of these geometric shapes. So I always for some reason start on this side with the eye and we just go, I just go like this. I don't do the whole circle. I just do a little line like this. And then I'm going to follow his cheek. Come down around here, over here on this side, same thing. Just like a little half moon. I'm gonna follow his cheek on this side. And you can kind of come all the way around. As you learn to do this, you can really, really refine your lines, but I'm just gonna stay really, really simple and blocky right now with these. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to kind of round these corners a bit, okay? Just soften them up a bit. So we still have our circle in the middle. I'm just going to sketch that in. And then I'm just going to sketch in where the top of the circle is. And then for the eyes, where they start here, I'm going to take this and just have this meet the top of the circle. This eye is going to go here. I'm going to go over the nose. Make this little mouth. I'm going to do the shoulders and the back part of his body. And then I'm going to go up here and you can just kind of start to redefine these little bunny ears however you want them to look. Okay, now watch what happens when I take out our math. 
we have a very, very, very simple. Hi, Melanie. Hi, thanks for joining. We have a very, very simple bunny template. And from here, you can take the eyelashes out on both sides. You could add a couple eyelashes. You can color these eyes in a little bit. I'm just going to do this real rough so you get the idea. And I'm going to do this a couple more times so that you see all these moves. Okay. And you can add um, kind of like the eye eyeball socket. It's almost like eyebrows here. You can add these lines. And basically what you would be doing practicing this is for so that you can paint over it. Okay. And then maybe give him a little v-neck. And you might want to add this side of his body. But you kind of get the idea, right? That it's really, really simple to draw a bunny like this. So I'm going to do a bunny again now without, without the photograph and show you again, okay? So let's go back to our purple. And so if you're draw along with me this time, if you want to just practice and, and this is just like a practice, a practice run to, for you to just kind of get your chops up on how to draw a bunny. So remember, the first thing we do is just make a rectangle and don't even worry. Just sketch these things out right now. Don't worry about anything right now doesn't matter your rectangle doesn't have to be perfect you're making a rectangle okay all right second thing you're gonna do you're gonna start exactly half in this rectangle but you remember you're gonna make that kind of oval right third move you're gonna go a little bit above that oval come out again and make a flatter oval around that, right? Okay, and then you can either do full circles for the eyes like that, or, you know, just like a half a circle if you want. Either one, either way is fine, but just kind of put the eyes in right there. He looks like a frog, doesn't he? <laughs> You can put the nose in. The nose is a V, a flying V. And that little mark right here. And then an upside down V for a mouth. And you can come up with the, with the, you can actually make them smile like that, you know? Okay, remember on top, there's just a little rooftop on the house. And then for the ears, we're going to put an antenna out the top of the house. And then from the tip of those antennas, we're going to do that curve line that comes back to the corner of the house. So we just go like that. And then you can come back up. Same thing over here. It's going to be a curve to this corner. So curve that down and come back up. And then we want his shoulders. So let's do this and this. So the shoulders basically come out where the rectangle and that outer oval meet, okay? Just like that. And this time, let's give him some paws. So you can do two, almost like McDonald's arches down here, right? And then do one, two, three, one, two, three, and he's got little paws. So if you did that in your pencil, now you can take your Sharpie, pretending that this is my Sharpie. Now you can take your Sharpie and just, and I'm going to, just lower this a bit so you can see what I'm doing. 
This is Procreate that I'm in, by the way, in my iPad. I think it's one of the best apps ever created. It's only $9 a month, and it's phenomenal, and it'll change your life. So, now, if you've got your Sharpie out, remember we I always start over here with the eye, like a half moon. Not all the way out, because we don't want him to have frog eyes or fish eyes. But I just go exactly between that line and the outer line, exactly. And I'm doing a little half moon. And then I'm going to follow the cheek. Same thing over here. Start here, right between the with the line and the outside you're making that little half moon follow the cheek let's go up this way and we're going to round the points now so i'm going to go up and round that point and round and round that point and meet down over there and then I'm going to t create the eye. So I'm actually going to come down this way and it's going to meet where that top of that circle is. And you can kind of sketch that circle in. Same thing over here. This eye is going to come down and meet the top line. And then on your inner circle, you're just going to kind of, we want to know where that inner circle is for paint. So we just want to put that inner circle back in. Let's put his nose back in. His nose can be any size you want. That little line in the middle. His little mouth can be big or small and have a cute little... That one has a cute little smile. If it's got a cute little smile, you can even add like a cute little bottom lip. Look how cute that just got. <laughs> I'm going to go back up to my ears and you can start stylizing your ears if you want or you can just stay exactly on those first pencil lines you made. I'm going to stylize mine a little bit and go in and still follow this around and then that's the inside of the ear. And then over here I'm going to give a little space between the ears. You can do that. I'm going to stylize this up. Oops. That particular tool does that. Come back around. And now I've got my my ears. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna come back up to my eyes and I want some eyelashes coming out. Eyelash, eyelash, eyelash. Sketching in a little bit of a a brow area. And then I'm going to bring his shoulders down, shoulders down, draw the paws in, draw the little paw details. I'm going to give him a little v-neck. And this time, let's lower these side lines to maybe three quarters up and just go like this and now you've created his legs and i'm going to mute that other um, sketch and then this is what you have you have a basic kind of a basic bunny and um, you can draw a line here and a line here and that would kind of indicate that you can see through his eyes and just kind of sketch that in with your sharpie or your pencil real just real rough right now it doesn't matter just to kind of give the vibe that he's got some eyes going and then don't forget to add his whiskers so we can do a one two three one two three and that's how you make a Linda bunny. Now I'm going to do it on my paper now to show you a technique. And I hope the lighting is okay to show this. Um, I was doing it with a pencil before, like kind of a test. It wasn't showing up so good, but I hope it shows good again. So I, I'm going to, let's draw the bunny again. I'm gonna do it in pencil with you and hope the pencil shows up. So I'm just going to sketch my rectangle. 
And I know you can maybe barely see that, right? Barely see, you can kind of see it. What's the second thing we do? We make that oval. We make that oval in the bottom of the rectangle, right? There it is again. Then we make the second oval, going up a little bit more, coming out both sides, right? Then we're going to put the eyes, two circles, like a frog. Then he's got a little house roof, a roof on his house, right? Kind of looks like the front of um, a train, doesn't it? Like a choo-choo train. <laughs> I actually said choo-choo, didn't I? Choo-choo train. <laughs> Let's add the antennas on his roof for his ears. And you know, you can um, add personality by maybe putting them like that. They don't, it's, it's, wherever you put the ears is going to add to his personality, right? But that just gives you the general idea of where they're going to be. And then if, you, if it's wonky like that, you would remember you bring this curve line from the top down to the corner of this house and back up. And then this one, same thing, curve in, come back out, and we've got his ears. That's very cute personality right there. And then we're going to add his nose. So the nose is a V. And then that little line and then his mouth. This guy's gonna be a little more serious this time. And then where the oval and the rectangle meet, we're gonna come down, give him some shoulders. This side as well, boop. And then we can come back up and still make our, our um, eyebrow area or our brow area. I don't know if I'm called really, it's really an eyebrow area, but that's what I'm calling it right now, okay? Now, if you have your Sharpie or your Posca pen, let's go back in and find the bunny. So we're going to go to this left eye first. We start here and right between this line and that outer line, we're going to make a little half moon. Same thing over here, little half moon. Then let's follow the cheek. Follow the cheek. We're going to go up and round these. Now I'll show you a little trick. Since we, um, we put this area in, when I go up, I'm gonna make it just a little round like that to just define that brow area. And then I'm gonna go up and round this, round, round, coming back down. Then up by the ears. I kind of like where the ears are. I'm going to define them a little bit. Let's see. I actually like this guy sticking up just the way he is. So I'm going to do that. And then on my other one, I'm going to stylize it just a little bit. So I'm going to go in like that and up. And then follow my other lines. Stylize a little bit. He's listening to things. <laughs> We're going to go back down and define this top oval just a little bit, sketched in, so that I can bring the eye down, straight down, in and straight down. And you can kind of define those little, that little eye area, sketch that in. Let's bring some uh, eyelashes out again. I like I like three eyelashes. You, you, if you want to do a boy bunny, maybe one, maybe one eyelash coming out from each side. Let's define this inner circle a little bit. I'm gonna just grab a glass of water. Let's find his nose and the middle of his mouth and then his mouth. And then you can also stylize this. You can come around, maybe give him a little chin, maybe give him a lower lip. <coughs> and then we're going to do the shoulders. 
again. Give them a little v-neck. I'm going to add his paws. We, I, we forgot to draw the paws in, but you can just do that with your Sharpie or your acrylic pen. It doesn't have to be perfect, just like that. And then three lines, one, two, three. And then one, two, three. So those lines, when I did them, you can actually start with your middle line first, straight down, and then your outer two kind of go in towards each other to make it look like, you know, his paws are sitting on the edge. And then if you want hind knees or legs, you can put those in. Now, this is the technique I'm going to show you. If you don't, you know, if you don't have an iPad or you don't have those kind of things handy, this is much easier. So now you take your um, eraser and you can erase all your lines. If you have a good eraser. I wonder how this eraser will work. There we go. That one's kind of old. <laughs> And then you have a bunny. Look, you have a bunny. So for the eyes, eyes are not totally solid when you're looking at them sideways. You know, if you've ever really studied eyes, if you had to study eyes in high school or anything, they are kind of a see-through orb or marble. And the color or the iris is flat against the your head. So I want to kind of imply that by doing a little line here so that it looks like you can kind of see through the eyes. And then um, and then we can just color those in real quick so that at least we have eyes looking at us, right? Look at, look, you have a bunny. Look, you guys, it's that easy. It's that easy. So I want you all to just practice making bunnies and, you know, kind of adding personality to your bunnies. Like you can take time and, you know, maybe he's got a little tuft of hair here. Maybe he's got some hair in here. And, um, you know, just add your little details and just keep drawing this bunny over and over and over because um, in Linda's art group, the free group that I think you all are in anyway. And if you're not, I would love for you to join because we do a lot of fun community things in there and we support each other and we do tips and tricks. And that group is two members away from hitting 100 members. Only two. So we are going to start to celebrate. We're going to do our 100 member celebration. And I designed a very special painting for everyone to paint for free. And here is the painting. Yay! It's called Linda's Vintage Bunny. And um, I'm going to give some creative props to my good friend Leanne Daniel. Leanne painted a bunny. And mess because, you know, this month is kind of bunny themed. And she painted this adorable bunny. And she messaged me and I was like, oh my God, I love your bunny. So I got really, really inspired to create a vintage bunny. So this is the bunny you learned to draw tonight. Do you recognize him? Do you see him? Here's the rectangle. Here's the circles. Here's the eyes. These are the ears you just learned. Here's his v-neck. Do you see? And it's so, so, so cute. And it's going to be absolutely free, and it's going to be inside Linda's Art Club free group. So if you're not in there already, just go ahead and ask to join. It's free to join. You just have to give your email. And I always need emails because you, we just never know what's going to happen with Facebook. And I just want to be able to stay in contact with anyone, everyone in case Facebook just, who knows, changes again. Who knows? So anyway, this is called Linda's Vintage Bunny. I'm going to post it as an event shortly. 
and um, I hope you all practice drawing bunnies till then. And I wanted you to practice drawing the bunnies so that you have a lot of confidence when we paint this painting because we're going to use the same exact techniques. We're going to take our paintbrush and do those same techniques and then we're gonna actually paint over those shapes that we just created. And then we're going to be learning how to paint roses too and um, just create kind of a, a vintage bunny look. So I hope everyone had a lot of fun um, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you enjoyed the class and please share your bunny drawings with me. I would love for, to see your bunny drawings and you know what would be interesting? Save your very first bunny drawing that you do and kind of practice over the next week or so because this painting is going to be in two weeks. Okay, we're going to do this in two weeks. So you're gonna have time to practice your bunny and I think it'll, you'll, it'll be interesting for you to have your first bunny saved and then practice and then have the last bunny and see how much, um, how better you've gotten at just your confidence in drawing a bunny, okay? And please share your bunnies inside the group. We're gonna to have to do a little bunny gallery, a bunny drawing gallery, of course. And I hope you enjoyed the class, and um, we will chat again soon. Watch for me to post the event, okay? Bye.